Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Most. Today I'm going to talk about two important regular expressions in JavaScript. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. So the first regular expression that I'm going to talk about today is the non-word boundary, which is which has this character backslash and then b capital b, which is going to match any uh, non-word boundary. So for example, if we want to get the uh, an here in uh, inside the channel word here, we can here add the non-word boundary and then a n and then again a non a non word boundary if i save and run as you can see i'm going to get an because the uh, backslash capital b is going to match a non word boundary so whenever it sees a non word boundary it's going to match it and then here in the middle we have an and then a non word boundary and in a non word boundary meaning that it's going to match characters so here, here, there is no word boundary. A word boundary is just at the at the beginning of a word or at the end of the word. But um, but if here we have a uh, character set of characters, it means that it's not a beginning of a word. The same here for let's say software here. If we here type let's say T W A, if I save and run it's going to match this TWA because the capital B it's going to is going to match the SOF because the SOF here is not a, um, a word boundary it's not a beginning of a word it's in the middle uh, the F here is in the middle of uh, a word and the same here at the end after the A we have RE so it's not a beginning of a word even even if I remove the backslash b at the end of this regular expression, I'm gonna get the twa because we uh, we told this regular expression to get to start with a non non a non word boundary and then match these characters. So this is the first regular expression, which is the non word boundary. The second regular expression is going to match any letter in English language or any number which is just the backslash small w now if I save and run as you can see I'm gonna get all letters in this string even if I have numbers let's type here few numbers if I save and run as you can see I'm gonna get these numbers 5 4 and 3 because it's going to match any number and any letter and if I want to match letters in a row I would type plus sign here and if I save and run as you can see it's going to return words not just characters because here what I told this regular expression is that return me any letter but I want you to return me not just individual letters I want you to return me if letters occurred many times in a row as you can see here T H I S occurred many uh, occurred uh, in a row and then we have a space then it's going to return this as one element because I told it to return me any uh, letters that occurred in a row and then if there is space then don't return it and then we have is here so it's going to return it in a separate uh, element in this array and then we have space it's going to ignore the space so this is very very important and by the way this expression this regular expression is equal to this expression to this expression which is a to z and a to z and 0 to 9 now if I save and run it's going to return me all letters and if I add the plus guess what it's going to return me again all words in the string so this expression this expression is equal let me just uh, type it here this expression is 
is equal to this expression to backslash w so instead of right instead of writing this long regular expression you can just use the alphanumeric regular expression so these are very very important regular expressions in javascript i'd highly recommend practicing them so that's it for this tutorial if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below this is most thanks for watching i'll see you later